Everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Brianna Wilson. I'm the founder and occupational therapist behind Freedom and Function, located in Austin, Texas. In this video, I wanted to show you how to put on your tennis shoes using one hand. For this, you may need a couple of items. One would be a long-handled shoehorn, and the other, which I have right here, would be a step stool. You may or may not need the step stool, but it is something that may come in handy. As far as the long-handled shoehorn, it is important for you to know that not all shoehorns are created equally, okay? Some are plastic, some are metal, some are uncomfortable to hold, some are heavy, okay? In general, I would typically recommend a long-handled shoehorn that is metal. This brand in particular, which is the Villette brand, I don't necessarily recommend because it is a bit heavy and it's not that comfortable to hold onto, but in general, like I said, long handled and metal. Because when you're manipulating the shoehorn, it will help you to be able to do what you need to do without it breaking on you, okay? So there's that. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So there are two main ways to put on your shoes. One of the easier ways to put on your shoes is by crossing your legs. So if you're able to cross your legs, it's gonna be a little bit easier to put on your shoe than if you can't, but I'll show you both, okay? So typically for tennis shoes, I recommend tennis shoes that have a solid back. So if you can see this, when I push down on the back of this tennis shoe, it's not collapsing on me, okay? And I'm not saying that you have to go and buy new shoes, but if you do have a pair of shoes that's more comfortable, provides you good ankle support, and has a stiff back, that's probably the type of shoe that you want to go with, especially if you do have lower extremity weakness, you want your shoe to be able to support you. And if you have an AFO, the ones that are more solid around the ankle just add a little bit more support, okay? So that's kind of the number one thing. Now to prepare the shoe, you just want to make sure that the tongue is out of the way. So you want to loosen the strings if you have to, and you're going to want to fold that tongue back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cross this leg. So this we're going to say is just for the purpose of this video is our good leg and we'll say this is our bad leg or unaffected and affected. Okay, so for this one, it might be pretty easy for me to just go ahead and kick that leg up. The tongue is out of the way and I can just slide that shoe on. Okay. And when it comes to tying my shoe, I might use my step stool, bring it closer to me, and tie my shoe. I do have a video on how to tie your shoe one-handed. So if you're interested in that, I'll link it somewhere in the eye or I'll put it in the description box as well. Now for the affected leg, what you may want to do is kind of scoot back and you might have to pick it up, okay, to lift it over the other one. And if you can't do that, what you may want to do is extend this leg out, okay, and pick it up here, change your position, move this leg back while you're holding on to it, and bring it up like this, okay? Again, we just want to make sure that that tongue is folded back and out of the way, and then we can just slip that shoe on just like that, okay? If you can lower it down from here, you can do that, or you can put this leg back out, let it slowly slide down, pick it up and move it out the way, okay? So that's the easiest way is if you are able to cross your legs. Again, you would use the step stool. If you're unable to bend down and reach your foot, the step stool will kind of prop it up for you to be able to reach your shoelaces, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to put on your shoe if you're unable to cross your legs. I went ahead and rolled up my pants so that you can see a little bit easier what I'm doing. So first things first, you might want a reacher if you can't bend down and pick it up. The reacher might help you be able to bring it to you. That's another device that may come in handy. But same thing, you're going to want to make sure that that tongue is out the way because a lot of times it's what becomes problematic. So you may have to loosen up those shoelaces, okay? Then you want to sit it on the ground either with your hand or with your reacher, okay? I like to put the shoe in front of the good foot. So let's say this is the good unaffected side, okay? For this particular one, I like to put it directly in front of the toes. 
You position the shoehorn first, okay, lift up the leg, slide it in as much as you can, and then with the device, with the long handle shoehorn, I'm going to push it forward, okay, and my heel is in. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, why did she do it like that? Why didn't she just put her foot in first and then use the shoehorn? The reason that I didn't do it like that, even though I can do it both ways, is one, sometimes the tongue gets pushed down a little bit more, and two, sometimes once your foot is in there and in the way, it gets harder for some people to get the shoehorn underneath where they can slide it under. But if it works for you, either way is fine, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you would put your affected side or your bad side into your shoe. Same thing as far as the tongue. You want to make sure that that tongue is all the way back. Loosen those shoelaces if you have to. As far as the positioning of this shoe, I personally recommend that you position it right next to your good side or your unaffected side because that will help the shoe from shifting so much on you, which we don't want, okay? Then as far as getting the foot in, there's a couple of things that you can do. So if you're able, you know, to lift this leg up and put it in, that may work for you. If your leg is super heavy, you may find that it's really hard to get this shoehorn underneath to slide the heel in, but you may be able to. If not, something I recommend is this. So I'm gonna take this back off. Make sure this is out of the way, okay? If you can't do it like that, what I recommend you try is taking your shoe horn and setting it into your shoe. When you put your foot in this shoe, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable. So you wanna make sure that the laces are loose, the tongue is out the way, okay? You're gonna lift your foot up and put it in. You're gonna to try to push it as much as you can, okay? Then you're going to grab a hold and you're going to, and this is why I recommend metal because you can manipulate it more without snapping on you. Then you're going to pull back and down. So, well, I guess technically up. You're gonna pull back and up, okay? Back and up, and it's gonna slide that heel right in, okay? So if you find it very difficult to manipulate the heel once your foot's in it because it's so heavy and it's just kind of crushing everything and you can't get that shoehorn under, try sticking the shoehorn in there first with the tongue out of the way, okay? Pushing it in there, sliding it back and up to get that foot in there, okay? Now let me show you one other way in case that's not quite working well for you, okay? So if that method doesn't work for you, I want you to see if you can try this, okay? Stick your good leg out in front and kind of over, okay? So here's midline, a little bit over midline. If you can, cross this leg just at the ankles, okay? Then I want you to kick this heel up. Okay, so don't keep it down like this. Kick that heel up, okay? And then if you do have good mobility in your trunk, good control, and so maybe you can't get this leg all the way up here, but maybe you can get it down here, okay? And so what you would do is make sure that this is out of the way. You would bend forward, slide it on, and it's on, okay? So really when it comes to putting on your shoes, it's a lot of trial and error to figure out which method works best for you. Again, a long handled shoe horn, a reacher, a step stool may come in handy for you. And like I said, just play around with it and see which method works best for you. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.